My name is Erin Wilson, and I am the Curatorial and Registration Assistant here at the Museum of Fine Arts. Today I'm here to discuss the work of artist Mary Proctor, particularly the MFA's painting, Dancing on the Street, Paved in Gold, which was gifted to the museum in 2007 by donors Donna and Thomas Brumfeld. Mary Proctor's work is often referred to as self-taught. In this video, I'd like to address not only Mary Proctor's painting, but also unpack this label a little, briefly considering some of the inherent challenges associated with such broad categorizations. So as we've learned in other lessons from this series, there's no one way to define an artist. While some go through a process of formal training, either in an academy or as an apprentice, Others, such as Mary Proctor, turn to art making in order to express a concept or an event, be it political, religious, or deeply personal. Categorically, self-taught artwork tends to refer to works produced by artists who are indeed just that, self-taught. But it can also be narrowed down further to describe a select group of artists who are oftentimes, but not always, from the American South, and who make highly personal works rooted in individual or collective experiences. So these can be categorized a number of ways, and other descriptive terminology includes things like folk art, vernacular art, or outsider art. And this is where categorizing gets a little sticky because it tries to group things together and experience and context is not easily defined. And terminology, such as outsider, for example, also presupposes that there's an inside or common way of doing something and an outside which exists beyond normative standards. So, something worth considering when we think of these labels. Um, and to circle back to Mary Proctor, as we've learned from this lesson, Mary Proctor initially turned to art making as a means to cope with the tragic loss of three family members, her grandmother, her uncle, and her aunt. And she now sees painting as her mission. So let's look at the work itself briefly. We'll share this. There we are. Um, so painted in 1996, Dancing on the Street Paved in Gold is an early work by her. It marks this joyous moment when she will be reunited with her grandmother in heaven. And like many of Mary Proctor's works, this composition is painted on a door, which we can see the hinges at top and the doorknob at center. And it's adorned with chains and paste jewels and buttons and all these colorful plastic and metal elements as we can see in this detail, which creates the sense of vibrancy and visual movement. And this is further underscored by these energetically dancing figures that make up this composition. So Mary Proctor's work, as well as that by other self-taught artists, is finally getting some due recognition. And this is thanks in part to the Souls Grown Deep Foundation. And the Souls Grown Deep Foundation was established in 2010 by collector and founder William Arnett. And they are, quote, dedicated to promoting the work of African American artists from the South, end quote. Their foundation, the foundation manages Arnett's collection and has recently established a program to gift select artworks to appropriate cultural institutions. So since 2014, They've made donations to such noted museums as the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts, the Baltimore Museum of Art, and the Fine Arts Museum of San Francisco, just to name a few. And this has greatly increased the visibility and the knowledge of the, these artists and their work. And I'm also pleased to say that in 2016, the Folk Art Society um, had its annual convention in St. Petersburg and the Museum of Fine Arts hosted their award ceremony where Mary Proctor was given their award of distinction. So we're very pleased about that. And thanks to a dedicated group of donors, the MFA is fortunate to have an extensive collection of work by self-taught artists, including four accessioned works by Mary Proctor. 
Her work was recently featured in the MFA's 2019 exhibition, Straighten Up the World, Self-Taught Art from the Collection of the Museum of Fine Arts, which was drawn from the collection of generous donors, Martha and Jim Sweeney. So to kind of sum up, Mary Proctor's work has layers of meaning, and this video has really only scratched the surface. I encourage you to look further. A deeper exploration of this topic is a rich and rewarding experience. Thank you for the opportunity to speak with you today, and I hope you've enjoyed this brief video.